Okay, um, hello world of the internet. Uh, today, I know I haven't posted in a couple weeks, the weather's been kind of cloudy and, you know, the weather hasn't been agreeing with me seeing as I do these videos outside and nature hasn't necessarily been in my favor. Of course, it's still a little sunny and that's why I decided to do one today. The skies are nice and clear, it ain't real cloudy. Um, last time I did a video, I kind of focused more on the tragedy out of school and more toward those students. But in reality, it could apply to everybody going through a tragedy. And that was kind of my focus. So today we're going to talk, I'm going to talk to you guys and give you a little insight on protection. And yes, it's kind of obvious I am, as you can see, recording this video be a selfie stick. That's because I wanted to kind of get a little better um, quality and better zoom and all that good stuff. Might as well just use the tool of the 21st century. Um, so, I want to talk about protection. What is protection? Well, protection is when you feel safe, you're guarded. Maybe in any way, there could be in multiple ways you can feel protected. It's anything that makes you feel safe. And to me, God has always been a protector. We'll get into more of this, but first we're going to open with prayer, which is something I'll be doing in most of my videos now. Right, um, we're going to go into an opening prayer and then we'll resume this video. Dear God, I thank you for the opportunity, Lord, to just commute, to witness the people through media in any ways I can find possible, Lord. I thank you for the words you've put on my heart, Lord. Allow it to be your words and not mine, Lord. Let your presence, Lord, just let this touch somebody out there, God. Let them know it's you speaking through me and not just me speaking for you. God, just be real and show people that you keep them safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. I know we've done our little opening prayer. Um, let's get into the lesson. For me, God has always been a protector. He's always felt, because you see, my mom was in a slightly violent relationship with this guy I didn't like. But you see, he tried to get to mess with us, hurt us, the kids. But it's like it didn't phase me. It's like this holy peace that I now understand as the Holy Spirit came over me and said, it's okay, my child, you are safe. See, we are safe in Christ. And there's nothing that's going to end that. Nothing can take that protection away from you. Anyone who is a born-again Christian has that protection. Even if you're not, because God's going to be there and he's going to protect you to show himself to you as a revelation so you can't, so you will get saved. To move you to get saved. But you see, there's something really cool about the God I serve. He's not a respecter of persons. What he'll do for one, he'll do for another. Protection to give one, he'll give another. I encourage everybody at the beginning of this video, before we get too in depth, we're going to talk some scripture, and we're just going to go with God. But I want to encourage this challenge. I want to put this out there as a challenge. Okay. Challenge is here's my challenge. Every day, when you're facing a dangerous situation, what I want you to do is quote Psalms 33 and 3. For thou, O Lord, art a shield about me, the lifter of my head. And not only that, here's something you gotta do every day. And I want you to wake up and say, God, be, protect me today. Give him, upon me the shield of faith. Because you see, he will. And those out there who are watching this are probably skeptical or, you know, they feel like they've messed up too much. God's still there. So before, you know, I get too in depth, I want you to realize that anything you feel is hindering you right now, just release it. Anything that's telling you this can't be real, release it, because this is God. This is not me. 
This is not a student, Stephen Ford, at Seagullville High School talking. This is not me. Of course, I'm verbally speaking, but... See, this is the truth of the Word of God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. None comes to the Father but through Him. I don't care what, you, what your life is like or how much good you've done. Anything that damages your body in any way, whether you think it does or not, if somewhere it says it does damage your body anywhere in anything besides the Internet because you can't trust everything on the Internet, then get rid of it. Whether it be adultery or sex, drugs, alcohol, anything right now. Because see, them are just things that are going to hold you back. Anything that alters your body's normal state that God created it to be in is not of God. And you can't go to Him. You can't be a true Christian with them in your, system, in your, in your spirit. So... See, I'm real. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, okay? I'm not going to make the Bible seem wrong. I'm going to say it as it is. Okay? I even made a video that called Let's Get Real. Sit in this many truths. But, protection is there. So he'll protect you from getting back to that route. Because, you see, something about God is he loves everybody. And that's the miraculous thing right now. So let's get into some scripture. The first verse I want to mention is one I've already mentioned. In Psalms 33 and 3. For thou, O Lord, art a shield about me, the lifter of my head. He is your shield. He is your protection. He is your guardian. He will, he will protect you. But you have to let him in. Second verse I want to go over is Psalms 91 and verse 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That is my favorite scripture. Right there. Psalms, it kind of goes into a lot of verses about protection or him being the refuge. For you are my refuge and my strength, my ever-present help in time of need. And the two I just mentioned are all in Psalms. Now, I don't know exactly where that one is found. I can't remember it right offhand because it's... Because how long Psalms is, sometimes I mix it up. Alright, without because Psalms is 150 chapters. I mean, it's really easy to get confused on some of the scriptures. So I want you guys to realize he's gonna protect you. He's gonna keep you safe. So let's go. If you feel like you are in danger, if you feel like somebody you're you don't you don't feel safe. Now I want you to look up Psalms chapter 91. David's prayer of protection. If I get the chance, I'll put it somewhere like in the description or whatever. Because that scripture, it not only changed my life. That chapter not only changed my life, but it could change yours. So, um, I want you guys to really be encouraged by this. And I know I said it was going to be a lot about protection, but I've kind of gotten on other topics. And But... God is your shield. He will protect you, but you have to let him. You can't have anything that is not of him in your life. So right now, we're going to say this prayer of surrender. And if you got anything that in any way is messing you up, and even if it don't feel like it is, if it in any way is against God, in terms of transforming your body from its normal state, balanced state that God wants it at, whether in any way it's an addiction, because addiction is, is a pitfall of the enemy, which means it is the same regardless of whether it damages your body or not. Any addiction. And anything can be one. Now I want you to give it to God right now in this prayer. Lord Jesus, I know I'm not perfect. God, I know I've screwed up. But Lord, right now, anything that is holding me back, any temptation, any addiction, any habit that is not of you, Lord, I lay it down at the foot of the cross. Lord, I bind the spirit of the enemy that will try to seek me back to them old ways. Lord, I give my life to you and everything in it. And Lord Jesus, just protect me from the enemy and guard my heart in Jesus' name. Amen. The next prayer we're going to say, like we say in every video, is the prayer of salvation. 
So right now, we're going to go ahead. If you're not a Christian, if you're watching this and you're not saved, maybe your Christian friends are showing you, and I want you to say this prayer. Lord Jesus, I admit to you I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ came to earth and he died for my sins and, sinned and resurrected on the third day and ascended back to heaven to be with the Father. I also believe that he left the Holy Spirit as my comfort. And Lord Jesus, right now I give my life to you as I confess with my mouth every sin I have committed. And God, just begin to move in my life and let your presence guide me. In Jesus' name, amen. And here's a final prayer I want to say. Not only do we do the prayer surrender for anything, but it's kind of a prayer of mine. <clears throat> and it's called the prayer of broken chains. I kind of invented it, I know. But it's a prayer that is saying if anything, this is basically saying to get rid of addictions in particular. Lord Jesus, every day, a new chain is added to what's already been added, Lord. Because I face these habits, these addictions, these things that shouldn't be in my life. Lord Jesus, right now, Lord, just break the chains that bind and set the captive free. He who is the Son is set free is free indeed. Lord Jesus, I hereby bind the spirit of of drugs. I hereby bind the spirit of alcohol. I hereby bind the spirit of adultery. And I hereby bind the spirit of idolatry. I hereby bind any spirit that holds me back from you. Any demonic entity that tries to hinder my life. In Jesus' name, amen. And before we go, I encourage you all to follow the advice in this video. I know it's supposed to be about protection, but really it wasn't. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and give it a whole new topic. I don't know. And I also don't really have a specific topic in reality because it's just a bunch of just getting real, getting to the bare bone of things. If you have any questions, this is a phone that I don't have a SIM card in right now. I'm working on getting one. So you can get me, I have multiple forms of social media. Kick, Facebook, Kick, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, anything that you want to contact me and get a hold of me, email. My email is fordsteven07 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, go ahead and just put them in the comments, do whatever, tell, let me know. Because I want to help some people. I'm not usually one to, I'm kind of shy, so you know, I kind of do it through media. Find your way of witnessing, go with God. Goodbye.